In this video, I will show you how to install custom content in Sims 4. Before we jump into that, you must go over to your game options and allow custom content into your game. While you are in the main menu, press options, then game options, then go into other, then make sure that enable custom content and mods is checked, then press the OK button and check script mods allowed as well. Then press the check mark and press apply changes. Now you can turn off your game. After exiting your game, you will need to go over to your browser to download the custom content of your liking if you haven't already. There is so many different places you can get custom content from. For example, you can go over to a website called CurseForge, which is one of the biggest and most trusted mod sources for Sims 4. Before you download your content, we need to mention that there is a different way of installation depending on the custom content that you choose. This is why we are going to cover the installation in two different parts. The first part will be about custom content such as hairstyles, clothes and other stuff, while the second part will show you how to install sim characters and houses which have a different installation process than other content. Let's jump into the first part. Right here I have a hairstyle that I like. I can scroll down and find the .package file, press it and download it. Once the download is finished I can go into File Explorer, then go into Downloads, find the file I just downloaded, right click, copy, then go and find the Electronic Arts folder. For me it's in Documents, it should be there for you as well, let me find it. Electronic Arts, then go into The Sims 4, then go into Mods, and right click and paste your file right here. Now you can jump into the game and your new custom content should be available to you. Here we have the hairstyle that I just added to my Mods folder. Now let's move on to the second part. Let me show you how to install Sim characters and houses. So first off you will need to download two separate files, one is called trace and the other is called mods. They can also be in one zip file, it depends, but if there is two, download both of them. Once the download is finished, go over to your downloads in your file explorer once again, then go into the trace folder first off, and once you open that up, go over to the extract all button, select the destination where you want the files to be extracted at, then press the extract button, go over to that destination, for me it's here, select all of the trace files, right click them and press copy, go over to your EA folder, Sims 4, then go into tray, right click and paste all of them right here. Then go back to downloads, now go to mods, extract all, choose the destination, press extract, go over to your destination, open up the folder, Right click the folder inside, press the copy button, go into documents, scroll down to electronic arts, the sims 4, then go into mods, right click and paste the folder right here. Now open up your game. Now when you enter the sim creator you can go to the bottom left and press this, add a sim button right here, then press add sim from the gallery, go over to my library. Then make sure that there is a check mark next to include custom content on the left and your character, the one that you just added should appear, select him, then go over right here and press place household, then press the replace button and press the check mark, then press the ok button, go to the bottom right and press play, press the check mark. That's it for this video, thank you for watching.